All right, so now it's on to the next step. I have my head right here all cleaned up and polished up and all the carbon removed, so that's good to go. And then I have my valve grinding compound here and my valve lapping tools. And we need to relap the valves to make sure they seat good. And then I'm gonna check the clearance right here, but first I wanna lap them um, so that I know they're not gonna be further down in the seat. I mean, it's not gonna remove that much metal, but it just makes sense to do that first. So we have valve grinding compound and the valve lapping tools. And if y'all need any of this stuff, make sure to check out the links in the description because I'll link it up um, where y'all can find it on Amazon cheaper than the big box store. So make sure to check that out. But I already cheated a little bit and opened it up. But this is Permatex valve grinding compound. And this stuff is like grit and grease. Um, they make different ones. This one seems to be pretty coarse, but they make this one and then there's I'm sure there's all different types of professional kinds and all that, but this is what we're going with because it's a tiller and not a race car. So I got these from Advance, but I'll link y'all up. Like I said, this was cheaper than the other places because it came for two for the price of one. Like at other stores, there were one and then you had to buy both of them. It was like double the price. So I got these and let's stop talking and get to work here. All right, so we got our valve grinding compound right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these valves out and get this done. So I'm gonna take this one out. And I don't know if this is gonna be a good before and after, but there we go. You can see that it's not pitted, it's not messed up at all. I just need to reseat it better. And uh, I'm just gonna grind it in. This is the exhaust valve and then Leave y'all out of focus here. Here's the intake valve. And I really wanted to get these refaced, but I took it to the shop and they were like, dude, don't even worry about it. Just reseat it. It looks good enough. And, uh, you know, it's a tiller. Like I said, it's a tiller, not a race car. So I'm going to get this thing reseated and hopefully it should be good to go. We're going to put these. Well, let's see. Let's start on the intake valve. So what we're going to do is get some of this good stuff right here and we're going to put some all on here. And then I'm going to dab just a little bit on here. This is so hard to do behind the camera, but all right, then we're going to drop it in here. And now I have these different size suction cups, but I'm going to go with this little one and see how this does. So spit on the suction cup. And now when we do this, we're going to do like we're starting a fire. We're going to go back and forth and we're going to push down, put some downward pressure on it. Now this is an important part. Um, you need to make sure that the two parts uh, what are they called? The little push rods. You need to make sure they're down as far as they go. So this is that top dead center of the compression stroke right now. So the valves will sit all the way down in the seat. That way, you know, they're all the way down and you're not fighting the little push rods holding it up. So this suction cup is going to be a fight already. And lift it up, move it around. Yeah, see, it's going to want to fight me the whole way, isn't it? Let's try the other suction cup. You hear the change in the tone a little bit? They say you want to do this until it gets quiet, but... All right, so we're gonna do this one and then we're gonna move on to that one. So I'll be back once I get this thing fully ground down and good and I'll show you what it looks like. 
All right, so now we got the intake valve done, so now we're gonna do the exhaust valve, and then I'll give you all a close-up of both of them when we're done. Now make sure you don't get it on this part right here because you'll grind that seat up in there, um, the little sleeve down in there, the bushing, whatever the hell it's called. You'll grind it all to heck, so don't get it on there. And you got to clean it all out and flush it all out with brake cleaner or something after you're done because uh, you don't want any of this grit left. These suction cups, they fight you the whole way. And the whole idea is to rotate it and move it around. And I don't think I put enough on here. Man, these suction cups suck. Huh. All right. Well, I'm going to leave y'all here, and then we'll check back once I get this one done. All right, so now we got these valves relapsed. So I got some rubbing compound and some polishing compound um, that I went after it with after I used that Permatech stuff to shine it up some more. And we're going to see if I can focus on this. Alright, so you can see, uh, obviously there's that little groove that goes all the way around it. Um, but it's an old used valve, so... As long as the two surfaces mesh, I'm sure it'll be fine. But like I said, if I do this again, it probably needs new valves and valve seats. And that's just way past uh, what I'm willing to do on this right now. I mean, it's not a go-kart or something like that. It's a tiller. So as long as it gets my job done, I honestly don't care too much. So there's that one. And now... There's the exhaust valve. Now the exhaust valve was a pain in the butt to grind because it's way harder, way, way harder um, metal, obviously, because it's so hot. Um, it's a way harder metal, so this was a pain in the butt to grind, and it didn't grind hardly for you know what, but I did the best I could on it, so there's that. And I'll show you all the seats, and now i got to set the valve lash on this thing. So let's take a look at the seats here real quick. Alright, so here's the valve seats. And uh, I got my little light on here. And we can see that I polished up the intake port and the exhaust port. Um, I know it's not perfectly polished, but it's way better than it was. And I got all the casting imperfections out of there and I polished it up as best I could. That way, you know... Um, I don't have to worry about all those casting imperfections and stuff like in that intake port right there There was a ton of casting imperfections down in there and I got it all smoothed out And of course I roughed it up a little bit because it's the intake port so This one is as smooth as I could get it, but man it is a pain to get in that one right there So let's look at the seats and you can see the seats They're looking pretty good. There's a little groove that goes all the way around it, but it's not actual deep groove it just I guess that's just how it meshed to this valve. Um, you know, they're used valves and seats. It isn't perfect, but as long as it gets the job done, like I said, it's not a race car or a race go-kart or something. It's a tiller. So as long as it breaks up the ground and tills it in and gets my plants in the ground, I'll be happy. 
All right, y'all, thanks for watching. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all give me a big thumbs up, and don't forget to comment while you're at it, and let me know how y'all like to do this stuff. And I'll put links in the description um, for all the stuff I used in this video, so make sure to check that out. And don't forget to subscribe while you're at it for more videos of me working on this thing and putting it back together and getting it back in the tiller over there. Later.